Hey everybody, this is Jaffe coming at you with a uh, the first part in a multi-part uh, tutorial series on custom post types, UI, and advanced custom fields. So we're going to get right in and just start creating. So this first cast is all going to be about using the plugins to create our custom post type and our fields. Uh, and then in the subsequent screencast, we'll get more into details on coding for the front end. So this should be a really short one. Uh, if you already know how to utilize uh, these plugins on the back end, then you can feel free to skip this. However, uh, you may want to just see how I'm setting things up uh, anyway. So let's get started. Let's create our custom post type here. So we're going to go add new. And the post type name is going to be my movies. And the label my movies, my movie. And let's see, movie with details is what we'll call this and our advanced options um, I don't think we need anything other than let's see I am gonna get rid of everything but the featured image and the title and I don't need to change anything else so we'll go ahead and create this custom post type and you'll see that it immediately goes right up here and then I'm going to create a custom taxonomy for the uh, post type and that's going to be called genres so genre and the label is going to be genres genre and we're going to attach it to the movie's post type and then we are going to make it hierarchical and basically making it hierarchical turns it into um, like a category taxonomy as opposed to a tags taxonomy and we'll create that and now with we go to movies and add my movie we get our title and we get our uh, genres and our featured image so now let's go in head, uh, go ahead and create a couple custom fields for this. So we're going to create a, a full custom field area. We're going to call it my uh, my our movie details, and we're going to add a field here. The first one is going to be called description, and we'll make that a text area. Spell. And we don't need a character limit, don't need any of that. So we'll add another field, and this field is going to be year. And we're going to make it a date picker. And we'll just leave all this, we'll just leave all this uh, default and we're going to add another field, we're going to call it my rating and you'll see it automatically populates uh, based on what your title is as the uh, field name and I like to just keep this the way it is, that way when I'm calling it on the front end um, I can just look at the label and know what my name is going to be. Um, this will make a select box and our choices here we're just going to enter in each choice and then just hit enter so let's do awesome great good bad why do I own this and then and that should be good yeah that should be good for now okay so we'll delete this new field that I just created oops sorry about that and then what we need to do is connect it to my movies so it'll only show when we connect to my movies and then we're gonna use a standard meta box so it looks prettier and then we just go ahead and publish this and now when we go to my movies add a movie we see with description, year, and rating. 
the genres, and featured image. So let's go ahead and grab a movie. We'll call this one Oblivion. It just came out. And the description, blah, blah, blah. And the year it came out. I know it came out this year, so whatever. And then eh, it was good ish. Um, and then we can add a featured image. So let's go to. Save the image to the desktop as Oblivion. And then we will set the featured image, upload files, and we'll drag it onto there. Set the image, and let's add a genre. We can call this sci fi. And let's see, action. It's action as well. And we'll publish that. And now we have a uh, movie, and of course, nothing on the front end. And what we'll do is we'll at least create a page, and we'll call it movies. And movies. I own. We'll do list of this. Hold on. List of. And we'll publish this page. And on the front end, we should see our link to it. And there we go. So, in the next screencast, what we'll do is go ahead and get into coding the front end so that you can see how we display this information on our web page.